everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you what are my 2020 teaching favourites. Um, excuse the hat, I have a bad hair day. Like I'm not even cold, hence why I'm wearing a t-shirt, but this is best for everyone. So in no particular order, my first favourite are these two-in-one Beryl whiteboard pens. I've always been a huge fan of Beryl pens, like I think I have pretty much all of the different types of felt tip pens that they do. Um, so this was just adding to my collection. I bought a whole packet of these pens for like £1.50, something crazy like that, um, from Home Bargains back in spring and I've been using them non-stop ever since. And I just love all the different colours, um, it's really handy having two-in-one as well because it takes up less space. Um, they are almost run out, so I'm going to have to find a new packet, um, but I've absolutely loved using them this year. Just like colour coding things on my whiteboard, for example like adjectives in one colour or like underline certain sounds when I do phonics. I just enjoy writing in different colours. My next favourite is my mini teacher toolkit, and I actually got this for £3 from Tiger, or Lion Tiger. And I like designed little labels and I stuck them in. Um, I have a whole like IGT video on how I did it if you want to check it out on my Instagram. Um, but this has been so handy. I am fortunate enough to have a lot of storage in my classroom. But there's like little things that I just don't really have a place for. So I made a mini toolkit of like paper clips, bulldog clips, and my little um, like Star of the Day stickers. And all these different things. Uh, like blue tack. So it's been really handy just to like quickly grab it from there rather than like going through my big stationery cupboard or something like that. Um, and I just love the decor of it. Um, linking to my toolkit, um, the labels that I've made actually probably are a favourite as well. Um, I've made this whole like, I didn't make them, I just got a picture from Google and like put it all together into a label. Um, so all my drawers, all my like storage boxes, I have these other folders, everything, even my washi tape storage box has the same design label. Um, so I've absolutely been loving that. Matching my plant leafy kind of labels is this rug from Ikea. I absolutely love this rug. It was about, I want to say £12-ish from Ikea. And I bought it back in August for my like new classroom makeover. It just looks so lovely in my class and like brings in all the greenery. Um, so yeah, that was a huge favourite of this year. I know buying things like rugs is so unnecessary for your classroom. But it's just something that makes me happy and like makes the room feel a bit more cosy and homey. And then I will like bring it to the next classroom and the next classroom. So it's an investment to myself. So my next favourite is actually been a favourite for more than a year, um, ever since I've started, honestly it's been a favourite, um, but I've just been using non-stop this year, and it's this set of timers that I have, I actually bought this from Wish, I think, um, it was really cheap, and they have like 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and I just find them so useful. I'll use them during my inputs when I give children a certain period of time to talk to their partner about something. Uh, particular children, I give them a timer to do something. Um, some of them really respond well to being timed to do things, kind of like a little challenge. Otherwise, they'll just sit there and not do anything. <laughs> um, so all these different uses I have, um, even sadly, like golden time knots. <laughs> um, I can just like turn over the one minute timer rather than like get on the laptop or something. Um, so I just find them really useful and if you haven't already, I really recommend getting them. Um, probably like eBay, Amazon or Try Wish, they might still have them. And yeah, they're just very, very useful. So moving on to more like clothing and accessory favourites. Um, I got given this bag at the end of last year um, as like a thank you for being my teacher present. And it's honestly like my new favourite bag ever and it just fits in so much. It's big enough to fit my laptop folders, I just shove everything in and it's great. I love the colour scheme and I love how it has my name on it. Um, so that's a huge favourite. Um, I'm not actually sure where it's from um, but I'll, I'll maybe write like the brand of it um, if you might want to search it if not. But I'm sure loads of places on like Etsy and things will have it but it's so so gorgeous. A clothing favourite are these trousers that I actually bought from Primark for like £12 actually maybe even cheaper, uh, back in like March, just before lockdown, and I love them, like I've worn them for like the summer, 
autumn, winter, I'm styling them in all these different ways but I absolutely love them and they just add a bit of fun to an outfit but still like quite neutral in a way, um, like not too extravagant um, but yeah I absolutely love them and they are so so comfy as well. Moving on to a couple of hack favourites, um, I learned this on teacher Instagram and it's where you put like a pin through a bulldog clip um, to like clip things up and this has like been an absolute game changer. I've been putting them on my displays um, and it's easy to remove them as well because I used to just blue tack work up and it would leave like little marks or I'd end up ripping the paper or something. Um, so having this up um, is so easy just to clip on like really good work to display. I've even got it on my pin board by my teacher desk and I've just like clipped up a nice quote that I can easily change up. I just absolutely love this hack. Like how did I not even know this? And I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't think of it. But um, yeah, it's absolute game changer. Another hack, I actually did think of this, although it's not very original at all, um, is I have these like A4 paper folder things um, and I stuck my classic label on um, to make it very nice and tie in with all my decor. And then I just pinned it up on my board. Um, so I've just got like two folders on my like pin board by my desk. Uh, one with timetables and one with my planning. So I do actually have like Monday to Friday drawers that I put all like my resources and things. But sometimes I just find it easier if it's like a whole week worth of planning on one piece of paper. I just stick it all in here. So even like my um, foundation subject medium term plans and my weekly maths and English plans, phonics plans. So I put them all in there and it's just so easy to refer to. And then if I have like a cover teacher or my PPA for example, they know exactly where to go for my planning and even like if my TA loses hers, then she can just get it from mine and photocopy or something. Um, so it's really, really easy. It also looks very, very pretty and well organized by my desk. <laughs> Okay, my last two favourites are actually like subscriptions um, that I personally don't pay for, my school pays for. But I thought I'd just let you know, maybe you could like give your school heads up um, if it's interested to you. But because of all the madness of this year and having to provide remote learning, at the moment we're providing remote learning just in case someone um, is self-isolating on our class and then also normal planning in school. and sometimes the children aren't actually self-isolating and the plans don't get used um so it's kind of like hard to put work on there and do work um in class like different planning because obviously our lessons are going to be much more differently planned in class than they are at home um so most of the time i can just put the piece of work up but sometimes if we're doing something different or especially during like the christmas weeks and things and it's just, you're not quite doing a proper maths lesson, but you need to provide maths home learning, um, I would use these two websites to help. Um, and even in general lessons as well, it's really useful for. Um, so White Rose Premium Resources, um, they have like the option to do like video, lesson slides, they have like this like true, true or false like reasoning problem every time. Um, worksheets, all these different things that are just really, really helpful and just like they're already done and I, I can use bits of it for my slides and lessons or I can put it online to send home. Um, it's just been really helpful and especially during the home learning before, um, it was really helpful too. Another maths resource have actually been Classroom Secrets. I'm pretty sure we pay for this. I'm not sure. I think at one point during the lockdown it was free and I think we just really liked it and we continued it. I'm not sure. Um, but it's so good as well. Um, a lot of my home learning I would grab things from there it would just make it a little bit easier and accessible for the parents sometimes it would explain it a little bit better so the parents could actually like support the children more um, but it's just really convenient and really good quality learning resources um, and they have like sheets and um, lesson slides and all this stuff um, I would love to spend hours and hours making all these different resources for home and even though they're not necessarily being used um, but I just feel like there was better things I could spend my time on so this was really really helpful. I've also kind of learned this year to try production over perfection, um, really just trying to like get stuff done and be productive rather than like wasting time trying to be like a perfectionist like I kind of spent my whole wanky two year doing so this was really really helpful. So there are all my teaching favourites of 2020, thank you so much for watching, I'm sure there's a few more but these are all the ones that like I instantly think of, 
I'd love to know some of your teaching favourites, so comment them down below and be sure to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!